Hello YouTubers, Sunga2009. I'm going to show you a good video today. I'm pretty sure there are those of you out there who are beginners at using Acronis uh, true image software um, as a bootable. Now, what is Acronis true image? Acronis true image is a software that allows you to create an image of the entire operating system depending on whatever state it's in and then keeping that copy on a hard drive and not only that when there comes a time when that system fails you can take that image and re-image it onto a new hard drive and continue on from there so therefore you don't have to install application and everything you can also do this method on a clean install operating system if there's malware and when there comes a time there's malware on that machine you can re-image the whole machine but be forewarned back up your data before you do this because I promise you once you re-image and you don't back up that data is gone it's lost so always 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 back up so I'm going to show you how to use the software let me boot us give me a minute I know fireworks <laughs> all right let's reboot this machine here I have a clean install operating system this is a Windows 10 beta but I'm going to use this as a as a prime example of it so let's start right now Now here we have the bootable option. You can go boot into the Windows. You can select OS Activator. Here's Acronis Disk Director 11. Here's OS Selector. Depending on what, if you have a dual booted operating system, you can just choose which operating system you want to boot from. Otherwise, you want a dual booting. This one reports your system, what type of system you're using, all the information, and this is true image. Now, those of you who want to check out um, the partition and all that and do want to do cloning, you can go here. Note Acronis has a lot of tools for you to use. They have useful tools. This is perfect. So here we go. As you can see, this is exactly what it looks like. You can see your own partition. This is disk one, which has the operating system. Here's disk two with volumes and everything. You can use the recovery expert if you want to recover a partition you accidentally deleted. That's what this is for. So you can go to next. You can use automatic and normal and then this you go to whatever uh, disk that appears you click on it and go next and then this thing will scan it and then that's it it will start to find it and then you can restore that partition back to the way it was similar to active at so now going back
you can choose to clone it, you can clean the disk, but warning, when you're cleaning the disk, you're deleting everything out of there. That even includes the partition itself. So, keep that in mind. Watch what you're doing. And it also enables you... Now, normally in an operating system, if you have the software installed, you can also do a check disk. You, so, that's a lot with this tool you can do. So, now let's exit out of here. Let's go into the true image. Okay, here we are in the true image. This is what it looks like. It's, it will say 2013, but I have the old model, so it's not going to matter. Anyway, there's a lot you can do in this tool. You can go to tool, utility, you can use protection. There's a lot of protection tools. There's active at data recovery, where we'll mark on the drive wherever you want to start up and um, allow you to boot into this true image mode so you can back up image or you know whatever stuff um, you can manage a secure zone for backing up you can basically encrypt the image that you're creating you can add a new hard drive you can clone a disk similar to the disk um, management tool um, you can also extend the amount of capacity if you created a partition to a drive you can also erase the drive and of course you got the backup and the recovery so now I'm just gonna show you now if you have a blank disk and you haven't formatted it don't worry just go to tools go to add new disks and then after that just go to next 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 and and then it will format the drive for you so you don't need to worry about doing any of that this drive has already been formatted so I'm going to use it anyway so now we're going to now I have a choice I can back up my data this will only back up your data files that's it it's not going to do the entire partition and you know the operating system. If you want to do the entire operating system of the computer, that's where this one comes in. Disk and partition backup. That's what we use. That's what we're going to use. But using data backup, you just click on here, then you select whatever drive you want, and then you go to next, and then you choose where you want to back it up. And then push OK. And then you go to next and then you can proceed now let me fix this now we're going to disk partition this is where we're going to create whatever disk it is now if you have a factory restore um, factory restore uh, 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 partition somewhere on your laptop or your desktop you should be able to see that label on here now if you don't see it well I say back up everything you can you know just whatever partition particular partition remember your image your factory restore image should be somewhere around 10 to 30 gigabytes. That's how big it should be. If it's a little bigger than that, then I guess I guess somebody did something for you. <laughs> anyway, once you select the disk, we're going to go to next. We're going to choose a location. I'm going to put it on my hard drive. 
hard drive I formatted and I created my backup you can create a folder I'm going to say I'm just gonna call this Windows 10 you can call it whatever you want it doesn't matter it'll still, it'll still save your uh, operating system we're gonna go OK now typically you can go to proceed typically what I do is I go to option then I choose the method of backup there's full backup which overwrites the previous image I had so you can do that but the note when you do that your image file gets big now there's an incremental backup um, this can help this will um, back up your image does a full backup to your image but also it compresses it compresses the file so it won't eat up a lot of space on the hard drive so it's pretty useful and then the differential well it just does some changes to your image depending on what you're doing now going next you can exclude whatever file you want um, I personally don't touch these I leave them alone but if you want to do that that's fine be my guess but um, I don't recommend touching these at all in my personal opinion then go to next and then that's where you go to archive protection now I, I personally put a password on here that's what I do now you don't have to if you want to uh, go for it that's up to you no one's telling you no don't do that the choice is yours but remember what the password are um, there are different encryption methods they're all right here so the choice is yours of how you want to do it I just use my basic encryption method that's just me um, the, here's the compression level this will tell you um, uh, how far it tries to compress your files <laughs> and then of course you here's um, free space threshold I just leave this alone I never touch it neither do I touch archive splitting which you know splits your image and all that crap into different I never even touched these so I probably wouldn't bother with them error handling well this is where you tell it in case if you, if you have a drive and it has bad sectors on it uh, my suggestion is mark off ignore bad sectors and let it go ahead and continue copying the files but if you don't trust doing that and you're thinking it's gonna damage the image then then don't do it at all just leave it alone um, validate backup you can click that it's a good idea to do and you can go ahead and validate you know what image you want I normally leave this alone because I know the image is going to be fine so once that's done I go to next and then I just proceed and then I'm creating an image now it depends on the size of your hard drive or the size of the file that's on the hard drive that's how long it will take to back up that image now if <clears throat> if you have a oh, if you have also a computer that has a malware and stuff like that then I don't recommend even backing that up at all I recommend doing it when the operating system is clean. Now, if you want to do it with all your files and everything, be my guest, but be forewarned. You will think, well, if I back up all my stuff into another hard drive, it's not gonna it's not gonna fill up that much space. Wrong. It will fill up a lot of space. You just don't know how much it will it will compress as much as it can, but don't even think that for one minute oh it's not it's not gonna it's not gonna be you know it's not gonna be too big you don't know that so keep that in mind I was toting my pack along the dusty Amarillo road when along came a semi with a high and canvas covered load he said if you're going to Amarillo Mac I'll give you a ride so I climbed up into the cab and then I settled down inside He asked me if I'd seen a road with so much dust and sand And I said, listen bud, 
I've traveled every road in this here land. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. I've crossed the desert, bare man. Breathe the mountain air, man. Travel, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. I've been to Waco, Hyco, Hondo, Navasota, to Winsburg, Jacksboro, Hillsboro, Santa Rosa, Austin, Houston, Galveston, Texas, Canada, Frisco, Buffalo, Conroe, Carson County, Goliad, Grosbeck, Glen Rose, Red Oak, Post Oak, Live Oak, Lone Oak, no joke. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. I've crossed the desert, bare man. Breathe the mountain air, man. Wind blowing in my hair, man. I've been everywhere. I've been to Krugerville, Pflugerville, Van Horn, Val Verde, Brackettville, Bartonville, Beeville, Bull Verde, Bear Creek, Cedar Creek, Mill Creek, Mineola, Maple, Pearl, Monahan, Cellophone, Tuscola, Red Water, Round Rock, Round Top, Round Lake, Sour Lake, South Lake, Spring Lake, for Pete's sake. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. I've crossed the desert's bare, man. Breathe the mountain air, man. Drove my tires bare, man. I've been everywhere. I've been to Greenville, Gatesville, Gainesville, Alameda, Kerrville, Kellyville, Bastrop, Benavita, Somerville, Smithville, Stephenville, Prairie View, looking back along View, Plainview, Adelaide, Justin Junction, Panorama, Pasadena, Angelina, and Arena, see what I mean? I've been everywhere, man, I've been everywhere, man, cross the desert's bare, man, breathe the mountain air, man, lots of wear and tear, man, I've been everywhere. Now let me see, I've been to Valley Mills, Pine Mills, Dimebox, Nuggetville, New Home, New Hope, New Deal, Liberty Hill, Rockport, Rock Creek, Bridgeport, Brownwood, Cleaver, Comanche, Cut and Shoot, Cottonwood, Bayview, Bayside, Baytown, Bay City, Fall City, Center City, Bridge City, what a pity. I've been everywhere, man, I've been everywhere, man, cross the desert's bare, man, breathe the mountain air, man, travel I've had my share, man, I've been everywhere. Yeah, when it comes to traveling, Texas friends, I've been everywhere. Okay, we're back. Now, as you can see, the operation was a complete success. Now, I'm going to show you what's going to happen once I, um, I'm going to show you what will happen when I boot it onto another computer. So, just wait one minute. Okay, now let's just boot into a window on another uh, on another machine, so let's see what happens. Oh no, there's no operating system. Well, let's fix that. Let's make it an operating system. So we go right back into a Chronos True image again. Now we're going to recover it. Just go to recover. Hit this recovery or just hit the browse for backup. Then we browse. The, they both do the same thing. Then we choose the new volume, the disk we backed it up to. Then we click on that image. We click OK. And of course, if you put a password in, it's going to ask you for a password. If not, click next and it will give you something like this recover a whole drive recover chosen file you can choose to recover chosen files 
or you can just recover the whole disk. We're just going to recover the whole disk. I'm going to say next. partition it. I didn't boot that. Let's try it. Okay, let the recovery begin. And we're going to see the results of it. Well, enjoy this scenario where it recovers the machine and restores it into a proper order. If you don't like to watch this scene, feel free to skip.
Okay, as you can see, that did take slightly longer than I thought, but as you can see, the system is restored. It now has an operating system. I didn't have to do much. Your computer may work differently. Now, this took longer because it's a VMware machine, and of course, it's going to take a while. So, bear with me on that. That happens. But on your computer, it should run differently. It'll, it depends on what machine you're using. But um, that's how you use Acronis. As you can see, it was a very easy, simple little tool. Um, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, I will see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.